Hello everyone, good evening, welcome to the session. Today we will be learning about some important GK and current affairs questions related to CMAT. So, let's start with those who are already in the session, please drop a hi, we will get started. Today the agenda is mixed bag. So, today you will get current affairs questions. You will get all different different areas from static GK questions. And you will get many questions interrelated. So, we would be covering all these things together in the questions today. Hi Mona, welcome to the session. So, let's get started everyone. Okay, let's start. So, hello Mamta, good evening, welcome to the session guys. Let's start with the first question of the day. India signed an agreement with which country for implementing two versus two agri market access issues? Hello Sumit, good evening, welcome to the session. Okay. Welcome, welcome. So, this is current affairs ka question. Hai. Currently, like in 2022 only, India has signed an agreement with a country. And this uh, naam hai 2 versus 2, which means agriculture related issues ko curb. Karna hai. What can be your answer? Sumit has given me an answer. Alright. Others, give it a try. Mamta as well, alright, fine, we will wait, oh hi Anshul, good evening, welcome to the session, okay, just we will wait for another 15 seconds and then we will get started, good evening Shine. welcome to the session, alright, we have received answers, hmm. Sadiq, good evening, welcome to the session, Israel and USA ke beach tough war hai, 3 seconds to answer and then we will start. And the answer is USA. Very nice those who gave the right answer. Hi Vinay, welcome to the session. And jin ke answers sahi nahi lage, unko double congratulations because you learned something new today. USA is going to be the answer and jaldi se iske baare mein thoda pad lete hain. Hi Shubham, good evening, welcome to the session. The Indian Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. So, aisa ek department exist karta hai, aisa please note kar le. And the US Department of Agriculture, which is also called as USDA, signed an agreement for implementing this two versus two agri market access issues. Abhi hai kya? Please dhyan se padhiye. The export of Indian mangoes and pomegranates to US is in accordance with the recent agreement. India also signed agreements to allow the imports of cherries and the alfalfa hay. US pork and pork products, all of this is also going to be imported to India. And ye sare products import or export karne ke liye kafi sari thi. Detail me jao ke you will come across numbers also ki kis rate per uh, us per tax lagaya jayega and things like that. But utna detail me hame nahi jaanna hai. What we need here from this question is ki do char detail utha lenge jase ek department ka naam ho gaya. And किन फ्रूट्स या किन चीजों के ऊपर हम इंपोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट के लिए ये न्यू एग्रीमेंट साइन कर रहे हैं उन चीजों के नाम हो गए दैट्स मोर देन इनफ वी नीड टू नो हाय वंसी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ओके रिमेंबर वन थिंग गाइस दिस इज अ टिप फ्रॉम माय साइड दैट जब भी आपको इस तरह का कोई भी एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन पता हो एंड इससे जस्ट इमेजिन दैट यू आर लाइक 100 मीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम दिस इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंपोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट्स but we are not talking about two versus two agri, uh, this, uh, what is this uh, name, agri market access. So, aap zabardasti uska reference de sakte ho when you are in a GD or PI round, okay, or in your VAT round as well. Hi, Shivam, good evening, welcome to the session. So, keep this in mind that learning these new things would definitely help you. All right, let's get started with the second question for the day, everyone. The ones who have joined in right now, you can also participate in the second question. Go ahead. Which Indian state constituted the Justice Hema Commission? Very good, Vamsi. Perfect. All right, we have an answer from Mona. 
Mamta has also given the answer. Hi Anas, good evening. Welcome to the session. Okay. Shubham, all right. Anshul Sumit. Okay, five more seconds, then we'll start with the answer. And jo log abhi aaye hain, please session ko like kar de. Okay, Vinay. Mm. Okay, done. So, the answer of this question is Kerala and there is a reason behind that. So, let us talk about the reason behind that. Okay. Talking forward, 2017, the Kerala government formed a three-member commission. Kitne log the? Three-member. Hi, Akash. Good evening. Welcome to the session. It was headed by Justice K. Hema. Okay. And former bureaucrat Valasa Kumari and the veteran actor actress Sharda as members. So, three members were seated together. The commission was formed to scrutinize the problems faced by women in the Malayalam film industry. Okay. The government on Kerala, please note, the government in Kerala recently formed this three-member panel to study and work out a plan to implement recommendations of Justice Hema Commission report. Did you understand? So, what they have done is, government ne teen member party banai and un logo ne milkar sare problems ko ek report ke form mein diya. That is termed as the Justice Hema Commission report. Ab iske basis par now the, you know, uh, people are planning ki ab iske liye hum kya good steps le sakte hain. So, that was in news, okay. Recently, this is related to this uh, uh, regarding any changes in this. So, that's why. Alright, we will move to the third question, everyone. Read the question. You have 30 seconds. Answer it and then we will start. Alright. Okay, Mona, Shine, all right. Mamta Bamsi, 15 seconds more. Shubham. Just for a quick reminder guys, uh, today I will be having a, a special master class on VARC in the Unacademy's Learner app as a special class. So, that class is also free. If you guys are interested into having a master's tiny, small, very easy uh, class on uh, VARC for CMAT, you can definitely try that in. It would be just 30 minutes after this class. That is, this class will end at 7.30. And we will meet again at 8. Okay. Anshul Akash, Shivam Sumit, Anas Sadik. All right. Let's discuss the answer. First, read the question, guys. Kirpan Shakti Integrated Fire Power Exercise was held in which state? Now, please understand that these are nothing but simple current affair questions. And the distribution always remains 70 to 60 percent of questions come from current affairs. So, you current affairs to dhyan se parna hi hoga, irrespective of anything else. Hi, Amit. Good evening. Welcome to the session. So, let us talk about uh, West Bengal now, which is the answer. The Three Shakti Corps, the Three Shakti Corps conducted this exercise called Kirpan Shakti, an integrated fire power exercise at Tista Field Firing Ranges. This is the full form of TFFR. Tista Field Firing Ranges. This is near Siliguri in West Bengal. This is point number 5. The exercise was aimed at combining the capabilities of Indian Army, point number 6, and the Central Armed Forces, Police Forces, number 7, to fire an integrate, fight an integrated battle. So, dono saath mein milke kaise ise use karenge, uska ek exercise, ek test kiya gaya tha West Bengal mein. The name of which is Kirpan Shakti. Okay. Done everyone. 
let's move to the next question we have gathered eight points from this slide very nice now i'll do a memory test on you people after five questions okay and jo log thode late se join hue hain unke liye quick recap bhi ho jayega question number 4 which indian armed force signed a mao that is memorandum of understanding with iit madras for technology development sochiye and answer kijiye oh mona very nice we have answer from amit as well mamta also very nice we'll wait for another 15 seconds guys let others answer nidhi welcome to the session shubham sumit okay shubham anshul anas okay good job akash amit hi muskan welcome to the session all right everyone option c is the right answer indian air force is the correct answer all of you are right okay now please understand ki unhone kis cheez ke development ke liye iit madras ke sath memorandum of understanding sign kiya tha hi pad good evening welcome to the session <laughs> all right is it mona acha <laughs> option c the iaf and iit madras have signed the memorandum of understanding those who don't know the full form of mao please usko note kar le for technology development the joint partnership between iaf and iit madras aims to accelerate iaf's indigenation efforts to achieve the atmanirbhar bharat atmanirbhar in hindi in english it means independent okay next the focus is on finding indigenous solutions for sustenance of various weapon systems mm done right any any additional point to add hai mujhe nahi lagta let's let's move down to the next question everyone here is question number 5 let's see thank you so much anshu that's right we are chaudhry the chief of uh, air force ओके अमित मोना आकाश वेरी नाइस आई विल गिव यू अ हिंट इन टेन सेकेंड्स ओके वाह सो मेनी आंसर शुभम सुमित अंशुल शुभम पार्थ हाय नीरज गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू दिस सेशन हाय जानवी गुड इवनिंग vamsi anas okay okay after 10 seconds i was going to give you a quick hint as i've already told you north eastern states is what your major attention should be and here in this case what should be your answer then of course it should be assam rifles and uh, any reason why you guys already know this answer like is this is this something you have read or is this because you have seen it in a movie or is this with what you just guessed operation dudi is a counter insurgency operation which is led by assam rifles okay jain k operation okay and uh, the largest and most successful counter insurgency operation actually so this is termed as largest and most successful operation dudi was held in 1991 by the assam rifle troops okay bahut pehle ki baat hai uh, eight surviving personals of assam rifles eliminated 72 insurgents and captured 13 others alive in a single operation in jammu and kashmir and all eight uh, surviving personals of assam rifles and family members of two others who died in the operation were felicitated by the entire assam rifles hi john t good evening welcome to the session wow anshul that's such a proud moment very nice okay shayan all right mona that's good okay let's let's get started with the next one but before that a quick check of your memory okay a quick check of your memory 
so just in case i was asking you people or we were talking about that kirpan shakti you remember so i'll just change the color of my pen i just talked about t f f r okay that is dash field firing ranges okay this was the name now you tell me what is t that stands for t t can you guys tell me what does t stands for in t f f r it's in west bengal we discussed it anyone that's a river very good shubham kya baat hai excellent shubham very nice tista very good good amit good shubham bahut badhiya claps for all of you very nice so tista field firing ranges is in siliguri west bengal okay very nice chalo good memory check for all of you let's move to the sixth question aisa karne se kya hota hai revision ho jati hai तुरंत तुरंत चेक भी हो जाता है कि हाउ वेल आर यू डूइंग ओके गुड जॉब एवरीवन लेट्स गो टू द सिक्स्थ क्वेश्चन व्हिच इंडियन प्लेयर वॉन द सिल्वर मेडल इन जर्मन ओपन ऑफ 2022 टूर्नामेंट नाइस अब इनमें से जो सबसे कम फेमस है वो आंसर हो सकते हैं ऑल राइट अमित सुमित बमसी आनस Oh, you guys are updated with current affairs. Seems so, huh? Good, अच्छी बात है. Very nice, everyone. Good job. बहुत सारे सही answers हैं. तो मुझे जल्दी सही answer दे देना चाहिए. Yes, Lakshya Sen is the right answer. Hello, Amit. Uh, welcome to the session. Good evening. आपके लिए सिक्स क्वेश्चन रेडी है आप आंसर कर दो जल्दी से वेल इफ यू गाइज नो अबाउट लक्ष्य सेन सबसे पहले मैं आपको ये जो जीता है उन्होंने ये बता देती हूँ देन वील टॉक अबाउट लक्ष्य सेन ऑल्सो अ लिटिल बिट इंडियन बैडमिंटन प्लेयर लक्ष्य सेन मेट दी थाईलैंड एस प्लेयर एंड वर्ल्ड नंबर ट्वेंटी एट दैट टाइम इन मेन सिंगल एंड ही गॉट द सिल्वर मेडल ओके लक्ष्य सेन हु टुक मेडिकल ब्रेक्स फॉर ब्लिस्टर सेटल्ड फॉर सिल्वर आफ्टर ही पुट अप अ ग्रेट फाइट अगेंस्ट विद इट्स रेन एंड लक्ष्य सेन हैज स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर ऑल इंग्लैंड ओपन in week and uh, uh, that is not relevant what is relevant here is about lakshya sen just to tell you that he is uh, he was once the world's number one uh, junior badminton player okay unka ek bar rank number one ja chuka hai which year exactly i don't remember but then he was the former world junior number one okay he has also won in the asian junior championship i think that was held in 2018 उन्होंने बॉयज सिंगल में जीता था ये एंड ऑल्सो इन दी समर यूथ ओलंपिक्स ओके सो काफी ज्यादा अच्छा परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं लक्ष्य सेन इज अ न्यू नेम यू गाइज वुड बी लिसनिंग टू इन कमिंग इयर्स ओके ही इज जस्ट ट्वेंटी वन इयर्स ओल्ड राइट नाउ एंड डूइंग ग्रेट ओके फाइन देन लेट अस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये सामने थैंक यू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन Which country is the? Oh, is this even a question, guys? Only five seconds to answer this. Sir, five seconds, Dungi. You need to answer it quickly because it recently happened. Ah, excellent. Amit, Sumit, Mona, Jonti, Mamta, Amit, Anshul, Vamsi, Shivam, Shubham. Oh, good. Hi, Indranil. Good evening. Welcome to the session. All right, Anas, very nice. Okay, Anshul ne ye bhi bata diya that Argentina won. Very nice. Qatar me hui thi FIFA is bar. Qatar me hui thi. ठीक है. And uh, that's very easy to remember, of course, because this happened recently only. Oh, yeah. That's Indranil has posted a new question for all of you. But before that, let's just jump up to the answer slide, and then we'll take up Indranil's question. By the way, others can answer it in the chat. The FIFA World Cup of 2022 is scheduled to be a part to take part in Qatar. This will be a 32 nations tournament. So, chalo, ye bhi ek question ho sakta hai. Point number one to note: How many nations participated? There were 32. Okay, which stadium? Albert Stadium. Point number two: Albert Stadium. 
and the world cup has been held in asia for the second time since 2022 and uh, when it was jointly hosted by south korea and japan 15 countries including defending champion france and former champion uh, brazil germany and spain have sealed their spot with the qualification that's not important okay yeah so over here i just want to tell you people one thing jonty has told us that the official mascot was laib hi ritesh good evening welcome to the session how are you doing after so long okay perfect so uh, anyone uh, having the answer of indranil or should i tell you that when is going to be the next fifa and who is going to host it 2026 is going to be the next fifa and it will be taking place in three different countries that would be us mexico and canada teen ba teen log pehli baar saath mein karne wale hain and it would be the first time ever ki ye event canada mein hone wala hai a part of it oh wow all of you have written it down most goals by mbappe very nice shiva yes okay jonty official ball Al oh wow amazing very nice guys Keep it up, keep up the spirit, हाँ ये energy अगर हमेशा रहेगी ना you would always learn more, more than others, always. Good job everyone, let's move down. Uh, yes, uh, Neeraj, uh, you can point that out, no problem. Oh, great Ritesh, excellent, very nice. But right now I have brought up a new slide, so if you can just tell me Neeraj, we will make a correction there, okay? Hmm. Right now, you guys have a new question. Hi, Rajan. Good evening. Welcome to the session. Now, see, this is reason. This question ko dene ka bhi ek specific reason hai. Yeah, Neeraj. Thank you so much. Two thousand two. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. I'll make that. Hmm. This question ko bhi dene ka ek reason hai. ISL is Indian Super League, which is the football. Okay. Now. इंडिया ने फुटबॉल का अलग से कुछ स्टार्ट किया है ये पेपर कौन सेट कर रहा है एन क्या वो नहीं चाहेगा कि इंडिया में होने वाली स्पेशल स्पेशल चीजें जैसे इंडिया ने अपना एक लीग स्टार्ट किया दैट थिंग शुड बी प्रमोटेड इंडिया ने कबड्डी मैचेस स्टार्ट किए दैट शुड बी प्रमोटेड तो इंडिया का जो जो भी इंडिगनस गेम्स हो या इंडिगनस चीजें हो जो उन्होंने न्यू स्टार्ट की है उन पर आपका खास फोकस होना चाहिए इवन इफ यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग द गेम ओके रेज इन टाइमिंग ऑफ माय क्लासेस नो सो फॉर दैट दैट्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू टू बी देयर ऑन टेलीग्राम बस एक नोटिफिकेशन आ जाएगा या फिर इफ यू आर देयर ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल आल्सो आई ड्रॉप इट इन दी कॉमेंट्स आई मीन इन दी कम्युनिटी बिकॉज सी आई एम ऑल्सो फ्लेक्सीबल विथ अदर थिंग्स नो लाइक माई वर्क माई क्लासेज एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो इसीलिए थोड़ा मुश्किल होता है टू गिव अ exact perfect thing but i'm working on it and most probably by the end of this week that is by sunday i'll give you a full uh, you know calendar kind of thing jo aap ek bar kahi note kar sakte ho ya star kar sakte ho that when i'll be coming live for the upcoming days okay pure march tak ka i am working on that and agar koi changes hota hai then i'll update you all right everyone you all are right hyderabad fc is the right answer yes vamsi they have even started a volleyball league of their own and we should be aware of all these things because remember that this question has been set up by nta okay anyways let's talk about hyderabad hyderabad fc has lifted their maiden isl title after defeating the kerala blasters okay in the final match which was held in goa and who was the skipper victor victor okay and uh, i think others are not so important as such but then ye janna zaruri hai hi nico good evening welcome to the session all right a quick reminder for all of you those who joined in right now session ko please like kar dijiyega and we'll move towards the next question here comes question number 9 for all of you important days and date aur ye to bhai isi month hai so i hope you guys know it when is the international day of mathematics Oh I have answers very nice Okay 15 seconds more Indranil has <laughs> Indranil ko ab maza aa gaya new new questions dene mein Indranil 
Guys, if you are done with this question, you can answer in Indranil's question as well. Uh, if I am not wrong, that is Mumbai, but let us see if others can confirm in the chat. Okay. Hi, Nikhil. Good evening to the uh, good evening. Welcome to the session. Okay, the answer of this question is option C, March 14th. Aane wala hai on 14th. Do wish me a uh, <laughs> happy mathematics day. <laughs> Theme is Mathematics for Everyone, excellent Anshul, lovely, yes, this year's theme is going to be Mathematics for Everyone. Let us move down to the answer slide over here, thank you Mona, thank you Sumit for confirming, it is Mumbai FC. Now, March 14 is celebrated as International Day of Mathematics across the world and it, project, it's, uh, it is a project led by the International Mathematics Union with support of the regional and international organizations and it is celebrated in many companies as Pi Day also. Pi, if you guys know, oh my god, Anshul is like, I hate maths <laughs> because the date is written as 3 by 14. Look. <laughs> 3 by 14 in some countries is also like, see, 3 by 14 is like 3.14, okay. And that's why it's also called as Pi Day. <laughs> All right, let's move to the 10th question. Uh, aapko sirf crack that type karna hai, Niku. If you just go and type crack that or uh, open any of my vi uh, videos on uh, like my channel, there in the description box you will get that. I am not uh, online with my channel right now, so can't drop the link. If anyone else is, they can definitely drop it. Okay. Nidhi, we are working strongly on that. So, abhi tak we have completed a lot of static GK topics on my channel plus on Unacademy's uh, YouTube live. We are planning to do more and uh, we will be finishing it off in around 2 to 3 weeks maximum, 2 weeks, 2 weeks, aisa kuch. Hi Karan, Wel hi Dara, welcome to the session. Alright. Guys, any answer? National, International Day of Forests. Indranil, you know the answer of this question which you have asked. Like if you do not know, then it makes sense. <laughs> Because it's in December and uh, probably 21st or 22nd December. Uh, no, Ramanujan's birthday, right? Uh, Ramanujan sir's birthday would be 22nd if I am right. 22nd. So, guys, check Indranil's question. He says National Mathematics Day. Of course, it's on the birthday of Ramanujan sir, Srinivasa Ramanujan. But then I am not sure of whether it's 21st or 22nd. Ah, Mona 22nd, in the nail 22nd. Perfect. Hi, Sujoy. Welcome to the session. Okay. Nikhil, very simple. Pehle aap current affairs padho. That is the easiest funda I can give you. First study current affairs. 90% of the static GK is current affairs oriented. And then a little bit in depth, jab aap current affairs ke jaoge, you would automatically start reading static uh, GK and these sessions will definitely help you in static GK as well. What is the theme over here guys? The answer, uh, Neeraj Kal Aarayu. Kal kya hai? Saturday, right? Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 10 p.m. I will come live on my channel. So, over there we will be taking up an innovation and entrepreneurship session. Okay. All right, uh, the correct answer of this question is option A, guys, forest and sustainable production and consumption. Okay, language ki class start ho rahi hai, Ray. Good evening, welcome to the session, first of all. And language ki class aaj se start ho rahi hai, an academy ki app par, it would be a free session only, so no need to worry about that. All right, uh, it would be a special session, free of course, bas aapke paas app hona chahiye. Wow, Mona, that's so sweet of you. Very nice. Kitne achche ho. At least you are just saying this. You know, log bolte nahi hai. Log are like, thik hai. Ho gaya. <laughs> Ayush, I am considering full one year. That means January 2022 se lekar abhi recent tak ka. Like even I am including March as well. Okay. And aapko... Dekho, there is no last date to current affairs. Yaad rahe, kyunki aapka kaam sirf paper mein achche number lana nahi hai, aapka kaam GDPI bhi cross karna hai. 
सो इफ यू विल स्टॉप योर करेंट अफेयर एट डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ओनली तब जी डी पी आई में फिर दिक्कत हो जाएगी ठीक है सो मेक श्योर यू आर कन्वर्टिंग द कॉलेज नॉट जस्ट गेटिंग गुड स्कोर इन दी एग्जाम या टेन पी एम इज श्योर रेजन डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ऑल राइट ओके आई जस्ट फॉर्गॉट टू ब्रिंग अप वन थिंग ओवर ह्योर उससे पहले आई इफ यू गाइज आर अवेयर टेंथ स्लाइड हो चुका है सो यू नो वॉट विल हैपन राइट नो शिवम वी डोंट हैव आई क्लास टूडे ऑल राइट ओके सो टेंथ क्वेश्चन है आने वाला स्लाइड वुड बी प्रमोशन सो आई वुड नीड योर वन मिनट बट उससे पहले आई हैव अ क्विक रिविजन क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो आर यू गाइज रेडी फॉर अ रिविजन क्वेश्चन यस ओके चलिए तो एक रिविजन क्वेश्चन करते हैं क्विकली क्विकली दिस क्वेश्चन वुड बी ऑन फीफा ओनली जो हमने डिस्कस किया था बट आई नीड द नेम ऑफ द स्टेडियम गाइज आई नीड द नेम ऑफ द स्टेडियम विच स्टेडियम इन विच स्टेडियम वॉज फीफा कंडक्टेड इन कतर क्विक आंसर प्लीज एंड द वन हुव ज्वाइन इन राइट नाउ प्लीज do like this session डूलाइक दिस सेशन आउनलोड कर कैसे अटेंड करे अरे इट्स वेरी सिंपल यू हैव टू डाउनलोड दी एप ओके एंड देर यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द गोल एज कैट एंड देन सर्च फॉर माई नेम दैट वुड बी प्रियाशा दास ओके एच पी आर आई वाई एस एच ए प्रियाशा डी एस दास एंड देन यू विल गेट माई रिसेंट अपकमिंग लाइव ओवर देर दैट वुड बी एट पी एम टूडे तो आपके पास टाइम है इस सेशन के बाद थर्टी मिनट ओके अल बाय वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस ऑल ऑफ यू एक्सिलेंट अमित वामसी शुभम अमित सुजॉय जॉन्टी अंशुल निखिल एंड शुभम बहुत अच्छे ऑल राइट गाइज सो लेट्स क्विकली हैव अ प्रोमो स्लाइड छोटा सा एंड ये वाला को प्रमोट करते हुए मुझे ज्यादा अच्छा लग रहा है क्योंकि इस बैच में इवन आई एम देर तो मेरा नाम थोड़ा छुप गया है <laughs> it's right here guys okay i would also be there taking up some booster sessions on ba also providing some mentorship sessions and uh, ha main ek special session le rahi hu that would be as a boot camp and kabhi bhi aapko preparation shuru karni hai so boot camps are really essential because jab aap kuch shuru karte ho us waqt aapko pata hona chahiye ki aapko kis jagah pe target karna hai because if you know what you what to focus on out of this entire bheed you would be in a better position when you are practicing later in future okay so this one is starting on 16th of march this uh, batch is termed as bullseye batch where best of the best educators have been you know lined up for you guys i know you as a planning for cmat so maybe aapke liye relevant na ho but i would suggest all of you to recommend it to anyone around you who is planning for the cat examination okay then don't forget to uh, mention the code prasha23 while referring because that will give them the maximum discount available at that point of time this is a small slide as uh, showing you the cat 2022 toppers of an academy where more than 75 learners have gained 99% percentile and 110 se zyada logo ko 98 percentile aaya tha which was a very good number to start with and this is a hall of fame for all the cat 2022 toppers from an academy and moving forward just letting you know that using my code priyasha23 would help uh, your friends who would be uh, pairing for cat 2023 to access this course at a very low price of 24000 rupees only if they are going in for 12 months that is one year ka course and if anyone around you is planning for a two years course then at a very reduced price of 32000 only they would be getting access to multiple live lectures recorded lectures topic tests and mocks and many more things on the an academy's platform at a, by using the code prasha23 theek hai so aapko prasha23 code use karna hai <laughs> all right let's move down to the 11th question for the day guys and i'll just have a look on the chat as well hmm koi baat nahi re that's fine i am starting uh, so i'll be able to attend your language classes yes three of course why not of course you would be कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मोस्ट ऑफ इट वुड बी ऑन द फ्री सेशंस ओनली सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट इज वेल ओके नहीं आया है पार्थ नो डेट्स येट सुमित ओके जॉन्टी मोना आनस शुभम अमित अंशुल ठीक है लेट्स सी निखिल शुभम इंद्रनील ऑल राइट 
This is very easy, guys. I don't expect wrong answers here because आपने देखा होगा कि maximum movies या web series जो कि उस जगह पर shoot की जाती हैं, एक glimpse तो definitely उस wall का होता है. No doubt. Of course, it's Rajasthan. Imagine, remember any movie or any web series you have seen where there is a Rajasthan based, or even they show that they are going to Rajasthan, they will show that wall for sure, है ना? That wall is present in Rajasthan. Okay, let's talk about that quickly. Uh, so, Kumhal Gard, the name is Kumhal Gard, also known as the Great Wall of India, is a fort on the range of Aravalli Hills near the Udaipur of Rajasthan. So, point number three. It is the second longest wall of the world after Great Wall of China. So, first, ah, Padmavat, exactly, Anshul, बहुत अच्छे. Okay. Now, the formation of Rajasthan on, uh, on March 30 is celebrated as Rajasthan Divas also. So, please note it that you have additional points here. Rajasthan Divas is March 30th. And in uh, 1949, the princely states of Jodhpur, Jaipur, Jaisalmer and Bikaner merged into the Greater Rajasthan Union. And 2022 marks 73 years of Rajasthan Divas. Okay. Let's move down to the next question, everyone. Question on number 12 on your screen. Please go ahead. And like the session. This is tricky. Because here are 2 3 options kafi close. Hai. Okay, I'll give you some uh, stupid ways of eliminating options here. <laughs> okay, like uh, teacher bhi kabhi student thi wala types. Stupid methods to eliminate the answer. So, climate ka world health day se koi lena dena nahi hai. So, option B is gone. Good job everyone. Hi Ishan, good evening. Welcome to the session. Personal health or public hygiene ka... Uh, कह सकते हैं थोड़ा बहुत लेना देना है, but hygiene does not have the word health. तो मैं क्या बहुत बिल्कुल layman की तरह behave करूँगी and I am like health तो नहीं लिखा है ना sir. Option D, take care of you and earth. Again, take care है तो looks very relevant to health, but then health नहीं लिखा है ना sir. So, Bilkul, that's how stupidly we'll come to the right answer which is our planet, our health. That's the correct answer of this question as well. So, no matter what your process is of reaching to the question, if you read the, reach the right answer, you are there, sir. Okay? So, question number uh, 12 ka right answer, uske baare mein thoda dekhte hain. Yes, Dhara. So, April 7th is observed as the World Health Day. Oh, please note that. To celebrate the creation of the World Health Organization in 1948. Areva. Hame to do or additional points mil gay. And ye kab kaha create hua tha? First health assembly me create hua tha. WHO leads the celebration to discuss the health related issues and to draw the attention specific to the what? Our health issues. And the theme of this year is gonna be our planet, our health. Moving forward to question number 13 on your screen, everyone, please go forward. When is the World Homeopathy Day observed every year? This day is special to me. <laughs> this day seems special to me. So, let's see. Ah, nice. Good job, everyone. Achha, is question ke piche bhi ek reason hai. Homeopathy is very, very special to India. So, we all know that, far, wapas se bolungi, same. Repeat. Ye paper NTA bana raha hai. Ye paper NTA bana raha hai, to wo India ko zyada importance dega. To India ke liye jo bhi speciality hai, uska jo USP hai, wo us pe zyada focus karega, blah, blah, blah. 
and homeopathy is one of them. April 10th is the answer. Actually, it's my mother's birthday. <laughs> Hi, Piyush. Good evening. Welcome to the session. But then it's very easy reason to remember that it's World Homeopathy Day. It is observed every year on 10th of April to commemorate the birthday of Dr. Henneman, who is the founder of homeopathy. Very, very important. Very nice. Very nice. Anshul ko to pata tha. Homeopathy is one of the most popular medical systems in India. Bola tha na? That's why India will pay utmost attention to it. And then, uh, this is a part of Ayush. Okay. Yes, Nikhil. India also believes in Ayurveda. And if you just read the full form of Ayush, you will get the better idea of why we have a ministry also. See, Ayush ka A stands for Ayurveda. Y stands for Yoga and uh, Naturopathy. U stands for Unani, Unani Medicines. S stands for Siddha and H stands for Homeopathy. So, Central Council for Research in Homeopathy, which is CCRH, Ministry of Ayush, organized a scientific convention on the theme of Homeopathy, which is People's Choice for Wellness. Bilkul, bilkul, Rejin, ye hai na current affairs ka question hai, bilkul. वैसे ये देखो करंट अफेयर्स और स्टैटिक जी के लिंक्ड है क्योंकि किसी भी ईयर को आई I मीन mean, किसी भी डे uh, को पूछना इज अ स्टैटिक जी के क्वेश्चन टेक्निकली बट इन इन रिसेंटली देयर हैज बीन सम न्यूज रिगार्डिंग दैट सो इसीलिए ये आपके क्वेश्चन पेपर में आ सकता है ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द 14th क्वेश्चन एवरीवन ऑन योर स्क्रीन हियर इट इज हुज द विनर ऑफ Pritzker Prize. Please don't confuse it with Pulitzer Prize. ये question काफी important है आप सभी लोगों के लिए because you would be learning about a new prize also. I'm not sure if you people know that ये prize किस चीज के लिए होता है. So if you don't know, it will be an addition to your knowledge bank. Try think and answer. Fifteen seconds for you people. Chalo, ek hint deti hu. This award is for architecture. Oh yes, Amit, absolutely right. This is for architecture. Pritzker Prize. Any ideas? Any guesses? Make a guess. No problem if you don't know. We'll learn the new answer right now. All right, A is the correct answer. Yes, you people are absolutely right. Those who gave A is the answer. Debedo Francis Carey has recently received this Pritzker's Prize. Let's move down and check the answers. Hyatt Foundation, which sponsors this Pritzker's Prize. So, this can be another question that is, Prize ko sponsor kaun karta hai? That's Hyatt Foundation. And they have in, uh, invite, you know, uh, given this prize to Debeto Francis Carey. It is the world's most important award for architecture. So, this person Carey is born in Burkina Faso, France. Okay, And Francis Carey is the first African architect, please samjye, to be awarded as a Pritzker Prize. His studio is based in Berlin, Germany and he is known for sustainable architecture. Unka speciality kya hai? Sustainable architecture, including the Gando Primary School, which he has made. Bas, itna hai. Ye thoda out of the domain question tha, to maine rakha so that you guys know about this prize as well. Oh na? Vana baaki games vagaera, ye sab to bahut generally known hota hai sabko. Okay, let's move forward to the 15th question. Uske baad ek memory test hoga. Jens Stoltenberg is the secretary general of which organization? Ah, you can make a guess. Which is the most important organization in news? बहुत बढ़िया। बस ऐसे ही कोई आपको कान में आकर इस तरह से टिप्स दे दे एंड इस तरह के हिंट्स दे दे, फिर आपका सीमेंट तो बिल्कुल बढ़िया। Excellent. Very nice everyone, NATO, no doubt NATO, of course, it's is more important now in the 2022 ke news and there was no organization, thi, okay? So, of course, NATO is the right answer, you guys are absolutely right. 
Let's know the full form of NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which extended the term of Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg by a year till 30th of September 2023 at NATO summit in Brussels. The U.S. President Joe Biden at that and, uh, and, uh, and other NATO leaders agreed to extend this term and he was a former Norwegian Prime Minister and he was named NATO Secretary General in 2014. His term was due to expire in 2021 but unko bada Congratulations to him. <laughs> Let's move to the next question everyone. Nothing more to get from here. Question number 16 on your screen. Oh, this is again a very interesting question who has been appointed the advisor of PM in 2022. This person is of course a genius. Jo PM ko appoint kar rahe hai, so you might, must have an idea ki koi genius hi hoga. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, Anshul has started answering. I'll give you 20 seconds. No, 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. Okay, yaad rahe ki unko advice karne wale sare log IAS officers hote hain. <laughs> and UPSC to kitni easy hai, hum sab ko pata hai. Who has been appointed guys? Quick, few answers I've got, few more I've got. Hi PH Shah, welcome to the session. Hello Kabir, welcome to the session. Hi Meet. Good evening, welcome to the session. So, jitne bhi naye log aage hain, unhone answers bhi de diye hain. So, very good, what a entry. Your answer is absolutely correct. It's Tarun Kapoor. Dekho, meri tarah se agar guess karoge. So, Tarun, Tarun. <laughs> Definitely the answer is Tarun. Alright. Aray, so sweet of you, Sumit. Sumit ki baat bhi sun lo, guys. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Amit Khare as well, Mona. Okay, very nice. So, option uh, B is the right answer for us. Appointments Committee of Cabinet has approved the appointment of Tarun Kapoor as an advisor to PM in PM's Minister's Office, that is PMO, in the rank and scale of Secretary to Government of India, initially for a period of two years. Now, in this case, we will detail mein jaan lo that he was the former Petroleum Secretary and 1987 ke batch of IAS in Himachal Pradesh. Ka adair ke. And he was superannuated as the Secretary of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas in 2021. Yeah, so, uh, nahi Nikhil, nahi Nikhil, sorry, <laughs> nahi Nikhil. Not at all, I would say that. It's, it's a very, very tough exam, very tough exam. Okay, all right. So, let us move to the next question, okay? Let us move down to the next question, question number 17. On your screen, everyone. Oh, Indranil ka fir se question a gaya. Kitne questions hai Indranil ke paas? Okay. Everyone on the 17th question and if not, you can first answer Indranil's question also. Jafir 17th answer kar dijiye, uske baad Indranil ka question bhi answer kar dijiye. Who is the NSA right now? He is asking, is Ajit Doval still there? Nain, nain, amit do baal like nahi karna. <laughs> Ye to Alia Bhatt wala case ho gaya. No, no. <laughs> Odd numbers pe kaam kariye. <laughs> Alright, sitne saare D. Oh my god, are you guys sure? Everyone is sure. Very nice. Chalo, so first of all, Anshul ne bas answer kiya uh, an Indranil ka question. Well, Indranil, I will also answer it back. It is yes, true. He is the NSA right now. And Baki log, please concentrate on question number 17. यहाँ पे clearly लिखा हुआ है Morbi है ना Morbi में एक और incident हुआ था बिल्कुल सही वंसी the bridge incident yes Rajan absolutely so it's very famous Gujarat में हुआ था this is the second statue Hanuman जी की ना चार धाम बन रही है मतलब India में four places में बन रहा है north east south west ठीक है Gujarat गया west में that is the second statue where is the first statue anyone knows it let me show you the answer slide. Anyone knows it? Where is the first one? 
let's talk about the one which was uh, right now unveiled it was a 108 feet long uh, statue in morbi okay this is the second of the statue the first statue was built in himachal pradesh in shimla okay 2010 mein hi ban gaya tha wo statue all right ye part number 2 hai third wala rameshwaram mein ban raha hai and any idea where is the fourth one going to be देखो नॉर्थ कवर हो गया वेस्ट कवर हो गया साउथ कवर हो गया अब ईस्ट में कहा बन रहा होगा एनी आइडिया बनने के प्लान्स हैं। गिव इट अ गिव इट अ ब्लैंक गैस आल्सो वुड वर्क वेरी गुड ममता इट वुड बी इन वेस्ट बंगाल आ नहीं जॉन्टी दे आर प्लानिंग इन वेस्ट बंगाल आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ दे विल चेंज द प्लान लेटर मीत आसाम आई एम नॉट श्योर आई नो दैट इट वॉज बीन प्लान इन वेस्ट बंगाल सो एंड दैट इज प्लानिंग ठीक है तो कोई जरूरी नहीं सुमित जमशेदपुर हाँ हाँ मेरे मेरे अपार्टमेंट के ऊपर बना दो हाँ हाँ राइट खोकरा इज द नेम ऑफ द मंदिर ओके परफेक्ट रे थैंक यू सो मच दैट्स राइट ओके गाइस वी हैव एटीन क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन गो फॉर इट प्लीज ओ आई जस्ट फॉर गॉड टू आस्क यू पीपल क्विक चेक हाय मयंक गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू दिस सेशन हम्म वो हम करेंगे अभी एटीन क्वेश्चन के बाद ओके ओह दिस इज आल्सो इजी गाइस थिंक अबाउट इट इट्स इट्स अ इजी क्वेश्चन पार्थ सुमित रेजिन निखिल वंशी मोना जॉन्टी इनके आंसर्स आ गए हैं ऑल राइट अंशुल ओ रे इज फ्रॉम मोर बी एक्सिलेंट नाइस ही पीयूष ओके क्विक so another 5 seconds then we will start off okay dhara rimjim hi rimjim good evening welcome to the session amit all right 20 region 20 total questions aur ek uh, aur do additional questions jo ki aapke retention check karenge all right so which economic uh, situation and pros world economic situation and prospect wesp is a flagship publication of united nations un 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 quite understood so world uh, ye jo hai it's a flagship publication of un recently published 2022 wala bhi nikal diya hai in logon ne isme hota kya hai the global output is projected to grow by Only 4% in 2022 तो ये जो भी हमारी आउटपुट होती है ना प्रोजेक्शन वो वो सब वो प्रेडिक्ट करके बताता है यहाँ पे ठीक है रेलिवेंट होगा जब आप आगे पढ़ोगे ऑल राइट वी हैव अ यूट्यूब वीडियो लिंक योर नो ओके फाइन सो रितेश ने भी आंसर कर दिया एक्सलेंट लेट अस मूव डाउन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ बट उससे पहले वी हैव अ रिटेंशन क्वेश्चन सो वी विल चेक योर रिटेंशन पावर दो आर आंसरिंग इन ओके सो ये काफी इंटरेस्टिंग रिटेंशन क्वेश्चन है मतलब हाई लेवल लेवल थ्री का क्वेश्चन Which year IAS batch does Tarun Kapoor belongs to? देखते हैं numbers कितनी अच्छी है आप लोगों की dash 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 कौन से batch को Tarun Kapoor belong करते हैं any one आपके help के लिए ये बता दू कि वो हिमाचल प्रदेश के केडायर से है but then which year can anyone tell me oops anshul amit jaunti kya baat hai very good nikhil shubham 1987 is the right answer very good rajan mona and mayank claps to bante hain memory to achhi hai no doubt neeraj ph shah and ritesh very good good job good job chalega rajan chalega <laughs> dara fine good good job चलो एक रिटेंशन टेस्ट तो पास लेट अस मूव टू दी नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन फिर हम करेंगे ट्वेंटी और उसके बाद फिर एक फिर दो रिटेंशन क्वेश्चन करेंगे क्योंकि लास्ट है ना रिमझिम वेरी क्लोज इट इज 1987 गुड जॉब गुड ट्राई वाओ आई हैव एन आंसर फ्रॉम अमित बट इज इट राइट अल अक्सा मॉस्क समटाइम्स सीन इन न्यूज इज लोकेटेड इन विथ सिटी काफी फेमस सिटी है भाई मॉस्क के लिए स्पेशली 
मयंक इज सो एक्साइटेड दैट ही हैज टाइप्ड फोर टाइम्स बी क्या बात है मोना पात बिल्कुल निकल जाएगा नीरज क्यों नहीं निकलेगा बस कॉन्स्टेंटली स्लॉग करना है आपको समझ रहे हो स्लॉगिंग का मतलब हर कोई जीनियस हो ये जरूरी नहीं बट हर कोई कंसिस्टेंट हो ये जरूरी है चाहे कोई भी एग्जाम हो अगर आप कंसिस्टेंट हो तो निकल जाएगा एग्जाम में सिर्फ जीनियस लोगों के नंबर नहीं आते हैं कंसिस्टेंट लोगों के नंबर भी आते हैं हमें यही प्रूफ करना है कंसिस्टेंटली पीछे पड़े रहो सब कुछ हो जाएगा सब कुछ हो जाएगा ऑल राइट तो द करेक्ट आंसर इज जेरूसलेम ऑल राइट एंड थोड़ा सा उसके बारे में देख ले दोनों दोनों इंद्रनील दोनों बोथ एज आई सेट करंट अफेयर स्टैटिक जी के क्वेश्चंस आर टेकन फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर्स ओनली लाइक दे विल मेरा एकदम बेसिक सा क्वेश्चन रहता है हमेशा का एक ही हिसा पिटा एग्जाम्पल है फिलहाल का तो जब से टर्की में <laughs> जब से टर्की में अर्थक्वेक uh, आया है मेरा एक ही एग्जाम्पल हो गया है ठीक है कि टर्की में अर्थक्वेक आया तो दे विल आस्क यू दैपिटल ऑफ टर्की and that will not be considered as only a static gk question that is because of the current affairs because turkey was in news because agar aapne editorial padha hoga to aapne definitely ankara ke state ke bare mein padha hoga so you know the answer ankara right so mm, okay <laughs> that is a message from 99 percentile club guys so uh, you can join that session <laughs> चलो परफेक्ट सो जेरूसलेम के बारे में देखते हैं रिसेंट वॉयलेंस विच अकर ड्यूरिंग द जूश फेस्टिवल ऑफ पास ओवर विच वॉज कॉन्साइडेड विद मुस्लिम्स ऑब्जर्विंग रमजान ओवर 17 पैलेस्टाइन वर वेड ओके एंड द इंसिडेंट अकर्ड इन जेरूसलेम अल अस्का मॉस्क ओनली एंड 152 फिफ्टी वर इंजर्ड ड्यूरिंग द क्लाशेस काफी नुकसान तो होता ही है ये सब चीजों में यू शुड नो दिस ओके दैट्स वाई इट वॉज इन न्यूज तो जैसे कि इंद्रोनील ने पूछा करंट अफेयर्स से ही आपको स्टैटिक जीके के क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाएंगे 90 परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम ओके हाउ राइट एक्सलेंट हेयर्स द सेकंड, थर्ड फोर्थ लास्ट क्वेश्चन फोर्थ लास्ट क्वेश्चन इसीलिए क्योंकि इसके बाद दो रिटेंशन क्वेश्चंस पूछूंगी एंड फिर मेरा फाइनल क्वेश्चन पूछूंगी सो ऑन योर स्क्रीन एवरी एंड अ क्विक चेक फॉर एवरी वन दैट अगर आपने सेशन लाइक like नहीं किया है तो प्लीज सेशन को लाइक like कर दीजिए Malpe floating bridge, where is it present? अरे this is a very famous bridge. You would see it multiple times in uh, Instagram travel vlogs. I personally got to know about this bridge from Instagram. Okay, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, all of them. <laughs> no option as all of them. Okay, quick, quick, everyone. quick quick okay done now it's time for us to reveal the answer are you all ready b is the correct answer karnataka very nice most of you have given me the right answer to thoda iske bare mein pad lete hain karnataka's first floating bridge malpe bridge it's in udupi ओके अ विजिटर कैन फील द सी वेव्स बिनीथ इट ओके मतलब अच्छा लगता होगा आई विश टू गो देयर वंस ऑल राइट अ ब्रिज इज दिस ब्रिज इज हंड्रेड मीटर्स लॉन्ग थ्री मीटर्स वाइड एंड अराउंड हंड्रेड विजिटर्स कैन बी अलाउड एट अ टाइम ऑन द ब्रिज एज द ब्रिज इज नॉट परमानेंटली अटैच सो इट शुड बी इजिली रीलोकेटेड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अन अदर आराम से इसे इधर उधर ले जा सकते हैं ठीक है ऑल राइट so with this we come to our first retention question okay everyone is ready for the retention question the retention question was i told you about the four dhams of uh, hanuman uh, ji right hanuman ji char dham project wo north mein kahan build ho raha hai ya ho chuka hai rather i should say north mein wo kahan build hua hai 2010 mein wo build ho chuka hai स जॉन्टी कहा द प्लेस गुड अमित एक्सिलेंट जॉन्टी वेरी गुड निखिल यस हिमाचल प्रदेश शिमला हिमाचल प्रदेश विल ऑल्सो वर्क शुभम मीत यस रेजन मोना अंशुल नीरज वेरी गुड धारा शिमला हिमाचल प्रदेश वेरी गुड वेरी गुड फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन तो आप लोगों ने सही सही आंसर कर दिया नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर मी टू चेक योर वेरी गुड मेमोरी तो वेरी गुड मेमोरी में आई डायरेक्टली आस्क यू 
कि हमने सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन किया था इंडिया और यूएसए के बीच होने वाली टू वर्सेस टू एग्री मार्केट एक्सेस का राइट उसमें इंडिया से दो फ्रूट्स हम एक्सपोर्ट करने के लिए बात कर रहे थे वन वॉज मैंगो अनदर वॉज मैंगो एंड आफ्टर दैट वॉट इज दैट अदर वन एनी आइडिया एनी वन मैंगोस एंड डैश पोमोग्रेनेट वेरी गुड मोना क्या बात है मोना वॉज देर फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग ऑफ द सेशन सो आई एक्सपेक्ट दिस आंसर फ्रॉम हर excellent excellent so this brings me up to the last question for the day everyone how was this session please do let it let me know in the chat section jaldi se bata de and a quick check to all of you whoever around you is planning for the cat 2023 and is looking for the best coaching of course you can try out an academy subscriptions in march 16th onwards we are starting a new batch of called as bull eyes batch jisme main bhi additional sessions loongi and those sessions will be on mentorship varc where i would make sure that main apne end se aapke liye best de sakun along with all the other educators who will take care of your other topics as well acha koi baat nahi jointy it's fine rajin cherries were to be imported from usa okay sachin shubham very nice Yes, yes. Thank you, Par. Thank you, Dara. Thank you, Shivang. 8 p.m. Language class ka time hai. Bilkul correct. Ray, you just have to have the Unacademy's app with you and go and follow my profile there over there. It is Priyasha Das. You would be seeing all the uh, coming classes and the old classes as well. All right. Thank you, Sumit. Thank you, everyone. अरे five times like करने से चलेगा अमित हाँ that is a odd number that will work okay. Rajan, आज 10 p.m. कोई session नहीं है I will be having session tomorrow 10 p.m. okay. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining in this session. I hope this is useful for all of you. So make sure that all of you do join up for the other sessions as well. अभी 8 pm mein i will be having a session on unacademy app so see you there that will be free of cost so no need to worry about that thank you everyone take care bye bye and uh, see you soon at 8 pm take care